Hello. Welcome to the Freelancer's Christmas Tale. You might be wondering why I'm not sat in front of a fireplace reading from a book. That's because this is the 21st century. People don't read anymore. We have televisions. And did you know that there are 7,000 chimney fires a year in the UK? I didn't think so. So I'll be sticking to central heating. Sorry, Santa. Now, let's begin our Christmas tale. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, no one stirred, not even a mouse. But sat in the basement was Walter Black, making his meth and filling his... Wait, Walter Black? Isn't that close to copyright and borderline racism? No? Okay, well, here's Walter Black making some meth. As it was Christmas Eve, Walter was in the festive spirit, so he chose to deliver his meth while driving high over the limit. Unfortunately for Walter, the police noticed his crime, so they pulled him over and said he wouldn't escape this time, but little did they know that Walter had a gun and shot himself in the head before they could have their fun. But through the magic of Christmas, the presents came alive and delivered themselves to all in the drug hive. Christmas was saved and everyone could enjoy hours of fun with their new crystal meth toy. And unfortunately, this ends our Christmas tale. So we took those mince pies before they go stale, have some milk and go off to bed. And don't forget the image of Walter with a hole in his head. And that concludes The Freelancer's Christmas Tale. We hope you enjoyed it, and that you take this message with you. That Christmas is the time for everyone to enjoy, even if you're a meth addict. Good night, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>